What's up everybody, it's your host Kurt Jagoon, and in today's video guys, I'm bringing you some Town Hall 10v10 drag attacks once again. Guys, these drag attacks are becoming more plentiful, and it's getting easy for me to bring you these videos of 10v10 3 stars. So let's get right on it, right here with Ian, and we're going to check out this base and how Ian handled it. Well, this is obviously a queen walk to drag loon. So let's, let's check it out. Ian uh, is definitely going old school here. He doesn't have a clone spell, so he's going old school, and he's planning on getting a lot out of this walk. And right here, he started out the king. And the king is basically just to funnel this queen uh, to make sure she doesn't turn back in. And that's what this wizard is about as well. Just kind of making sure that queen does what she's supposed to do. Because queens at times uh, can do what you don't realize they're going to do. Uh, they like to be mysterious. And so the king is down. He He's, uh, he's bit the farm. Wow, that is... He had to phase right there. Ian, Ian really tempted fate there and waited as long as he could on that rage, which really leads me to believe that Ian doesn't want to waste a whole lot on this walk. So uh, right here, Ian is going to have to do something, and he's going to rage. And so right now, uh, he's needs, he needs to get some of this DPS off of his queen, and his uh, drag attack is coming in hot and heavy right now. The queen is about to pop the hound, and she does. And right now, it's looking pretty good. Uh, the queen is alive. Dragon is assisting. Nice. He's bringing in his uh, balloons right now from the backside, just kind of helping these dragons in the core to get the job done. And so that one drag is going to go down because of the fact that he did assist the queen while the wizard tower was peppering him. But it's okay, he almost took down that wizard tower, which the queen will quickly dispatch and take care of the rest of these really difficult defenses. But we'll speed it up, guys, because as you can see, the base is pretty much done. There's just a couple more things to do. It does get down to one drag here in the queen, but there's never a doubt when the queen is with healers, uh, there's no question as if it was going to three star. So great job, Ian. Excellent attack. Okay, so we'll move on to number 20, which is El Pistolero. I like that name. Another queen walk to drag Loon. I like this attack, guys. It seems to be very consistent. And uh, as you can see here, um, it, doesn't, it doesn't always matter if you get all the ADs down at Town Hall 10. Because you can see with this walk here, El Pistolero is not going to get all these ADs down. He may probably get two if he's lucky and he wall breaks in, uh, but I think that's about as far as it's going to go. He may be able to range that um, Inferno if he goes into that uh, box that the Queen is at right now. Now let's see if he's going to rage. Oh wow, whoa. So El Pistolero is uh, definitely uh, living dangerously here. And I don't know that he wanted to rage at that point. Uh, nice rage on the wall breakers. Um, that looked really nice. Uh, he's, I'm, I am very wrong, guys. He could theoretically get three ADs here uh, if the queen goes around, and she will. So I didn't have the vision to see it, guys. Uh, ultimately, El Pistolero is uh, showing Dragoon here that he is going to get three. Good job, El Pistolero. And so now he sped up the queen there a little bit uh, just to get that last AD down so he can start his drag run here. Uh, the king is coming in, just, just doing his thing. And he's coming right down the, the gauntlet of this base, right into the infernos. The queen right now doesn't have enough DPS on her to really concern El Pistolero. Uh, she's going to be safe right now. So check these drags and balloons out in the core. Uh, that's why he had to save as much rage as possible to get it done. And so he's he's uh, expended all of his spells at this point, and the drags are going to be tapped out of rage here in a minute. And that's pretty much it. So they're going to be taking on this Inferno for a while. The Queen is down. She tried to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Inferno, and it was ripped the dream. 
So uh, there you go on that. We'll speed it up just a hair, guys. Because ultimately, as you can see with the last few defenses, this base is a wrap. Great job, El Pistolero. It got a little scary there. Uh, and you showed me some things with that walk, man. Very impressive. All right, guys. And this next uh, queen walk to drag loon attack is really amazing right here. First off, look at the troop comp. He's only got two healers. And when I first seen this attack, I did not realize how much value that Koei was going to get with just two healers. But let's just watch this walk, guys. It is absolutely beautiful what he gets done here. And he's going to come in at the bottom here. He's going to take out these two AD uh, right here. And I thought that was going to be pretty much it for Koei. Uh, when I seen this attack, I was like, uh, and also pay attention to that, that Coco Loon that just went down, that was just a test for black air mines. So that one of the two healers, you know, wouldn't get taken down by black air mine. Alright, so this rage here is just basically to kind of get moving. Uh, the queen is not in danger at this point but Koei uh, knows that there is a time factor involved. So right here, and this is what I'm saying about beautiful, just watch this attack unfold. And it just absolutely blew my mind. So here comes the drag portion of the attack. And I just didn't realize that a queen with two healers could get down all four of these AD. But that's what's going to happen, guys. That ultimately is what's going to happen. And as you can see, as the attack is developing, the dragons are pushing through the core. The queen is getting the two AD down with still both healers, guys. Both healers are alive completely incredible the drag loom portion is destroying the base all the uh, the uh, air defense is down and ultimately that is how you get a successful uh, drag raid I'm gonna speed it up guys because as you can see this base is a wrap there's the king wasn't much help in the beginning but ultimately he just needed him for cleanup great job Koi All right, we'll move on to this next drag attack right here being performed by the Rizza, the Jizza, Mr. Rizza. All right, he's got a sacrificial royal dragloon. Now in this attack, guys, it's it's uh I I think it's safe to say that right here uh Rizza is is definitely trying to get down at least one ad here and one ad here now if he gets any more than that i'll be surprised he doesn't have wall breakers um so the queen's range is not enough the king can't get in and he's accomplished that two ad down And let's see where he comes in at. He could address these ADs immediately. And that's what he's going to do. He's going to come right in and push right towards these air defense. Lava Hound and Balloons coming out. I'm expecting a Rage anytime now. Oh, and guys, pay attention to that clone spell. There is a clone spell in the spell comp. So, at some point, uh, Riza is going to drop the clones. And the attack is looking really nice as of right now. Here comes the clone balloons. And they're going to help out into that core, into the rage. And this base is melting as they go. 
And now these drags are nice and green, uh, but they got a lot of work to do. Oh, he lost that drag on the outside. Not sure where it went. I think a black air mine might have got it. I don't know. I'm going to speed it up, guys. Another black air mine. Wow, he's down to two drags. It was looking really sound at the beginning, uh, but then it, it, it ended uh, a little bit... Um, a little bit weaker than I thought it would, but still, hey, nice plan, Riza, and nice attack. And guys, for our last drag attack right here, we're going to take a look at Ian, and this is six pack height with dragons for Ian. Great job, Ian. Nice. Here we are with a queen walk to mass drag once again. Guys, are you seeing this pattern? Are you seeing this pattern? Queen walk. To, or, or I'm sorry, drag loon. Uh, it's it's a pattern here. It's a wonderful pattern, and ultimately this base uh, right away, as you can see, Ian has he's going to get all of these ads down with this wall, guys. He's he's going to be able to take them down. It's just going to take some time, so Ian can bring his drags in as they slowly move through the base, and he can wait on his queen. You know, as she moves through the base, he can he can just kind of wait on her and not really get too excited because she's not going to encounter enough DPS really uh, to put her in danger. So she should step up here and get this AD, and she does. Now she probably won't be able to get the queen here unless he wall breaks in, but as you can see, Ian does not have wall breakers, so he's not really concerned about that. And he can really start um, his dragons at any time right now. He's just got that king just doing some work right now on the outside. And I like this angle. It's very interesting, this angle he's coming in at. But if you look at it, really, the base has been cut in half. And the king's going to run down the side. So he's just tightening up the base so that these dragons and loons can run through and, and devastate the remaining defenses. And right here, as you can see, he's got a ton, guys, a ton of spells left. This is just amazing. Unlike Ian's first attack, he expended a lot of spells on his queen walk. But in this attack, the base layout allowed him to basically walk his queen for free, if we can use that term. So he's able to get down these defenses and get down this base with relative ease, guys. So looking at Dragloon, uh, Queen Walk Dragloon as a possibility in your next Town Hall 10 attack, I would seriously consider it, guys, because ultimately uh, I'm advising you at Town Hall 10 to, to look at the viability of this attack. There's plenty of bases out there that will accept this attack. All you've got to do is know which ones will. Now pay attention on these videos and that will definitely give you the idea of what types of base will accept this attack. And guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this. And with that being said, I am out of here.